YouTube, what it do? It's your boy, the one and only. And today's audio book is called Supporting Your Family. I feel like we lost the traditional ways. I feel like that we're headed back in that direction, slowly but surely, especially because of this COVID situation. I think that supporting your family is the most important thing you can do besides your purpose, especially as a man or even a young man. Because if we look around, not many families are uh, functional. Most families, especially in the so-called black community, they, they can't even be in the same room together for too long. So these are things that I feel we have lost as a people. I feel like as a people, we have lost our connection to God. One, I'm gonna do an audio book on that. Two, another day. And two, I feel like we have lost our connection with our family, our blood family. I feel like family isn't as important to people as it used to be. And it's not just men, it's females too. Females don't realize that they, they play a major role in the legacy of a man and the legacy of a family. Most females, they don't think about the family. They don't put the family first. Most females put themselves first. And who's to say they're to blame? That's just how they were raised. We could put the blame on our parents. We could put the blame on our grandparents. But then that takes the, the responsibility that we have away from what we can do. This is why I say support your family. Why it's important to support your family? Because when it's all said and done, besides God, all you truly have is your family. Now, your family isn't always just your blood family. Like It could be people who, who you knew for a while and you grew a connection and y'all became family. But my point is, family is all we got besides God. Besides God, and most people don't even have that connection, that true connection with God anymore. All we got is our family. So support your family. If one of your family members got a business or they got an idea or they trying to like go somewhere, like support them, give them advice, like Ask yourself this question. When is the last time you called your brothers or your sisters if you have one? And if you don't have no brothers or sisters, when is the last time you called your cousin? Just to talk to him. Just to say, what's up, cuz? What's up, brother? What's up, sister? How you doing? Like, you still breathing? You still alive? Everything okay? Like, what, what kind of goals you got going on right now? What do you want to do? Like, who you dating? Like, shit like that. Like, just have a, a simple conversation and start to build that family connection this is what i mean by supporting them because most people out here they all feel alone and it's crazy how we all feel the same way but it's like no one's willing to do something to change it like everybody says they want this and they want that but it's like who's actually out here doing god's work when you're doing god's work it's not easy a lot of people are gonna look at you wrong a lot of people are gonna look at you crazy they're gonna say all these bad things about you, try to destroy your character. But that's because you bring the truth to the lie. You bring fire to the darkness. And all those smoky mirrors, they you see right through them. It's important to support your family. Because like I said, everyone out here feels alone. They feel like, you know, by themselves. Like they got no one they can relate to, no one to talk to. And that's because most people are closed up. Not only not closed up, but they're fucked up. I said it. The truth hurts. It cuts deep. Check the catalog book. I, I got an audio. Check the catalog. I got an audio book called The Shadow Self. And this is what I mean by we're fucked up. 
because our subconscious program that controls everything we do, we're not even aware of it. We never even heard of it. So it's like trying to program a robot to do something besides what it was programmed to do and you don't know how to program. These are what we're faced with. These are the times we live in the now where we lost our connection with God, where we lost our connection with our family. And we're living this degenerate generation. But yeah, man, if you like the video, hit the like button. Let me make sure I go into a, a part two about this because there's so much I can say, but it's just, at the end of the day, support your family. If it be emotionally, physically, businessly, like whatever it is, support your family. Because at the end of the day, we're all connected. You can, you can try to say, oh, well, this person did me wrong, this and all that, this and all that, but it still affects you. So that's how you know that we're all connected. And if you don't do your part to forgive them, especially your family first, you'll never forgive yourself. But like I said, man, I'm gonna go into part two about this because I can go in so much deeper. But it's just like, I'm, I'm gonna stay at the, the, the surface right now. I'm gonna stay like, you feel me? Like just on the little surface. I'm gonna I'm tee that at tad at it. But we gonna go to a part two soon. But for now, but for now, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you dislike it, you already know. Leave a comment down below and hit that notification button and subscribe button if you're fucking with me. But until next time, peace.